backend engineers, software engineers, web developers. Welcome back. So in this video, we'll be talking about hosting. So what is hosting? And we'll just delve, delve in to all the things that you need to know when it comes to hosting, web hosting, every that, everything about that. So if you guys like the video, make sure to leave your feedback down in the comment section. And also me, please be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so, you can, so that you can get notified on every video that I post. And uh, without further ado, let's just get into it. So hosting in the context of internet refers to the provision of storage and computing services for websites and web applications. So when you create a website, you need to store its data and files somewhere. And you also need to have a server that can deliver your website's content to visitors. And so this is where hosting comes in. So there are different types of hosting available, each with its own advantages and disadvantages. The most common types of hosting are shared hosting. It's the most affordable type of hosting and it is a good option for small websites and personal blogs. So when I'm going to get hosting for, let's say my personal portfolio site, which has my basic information, I'll just go for shared hosting. So with shared hosting, your website is hosted on a server with other websites. So this means that you share the server's resources. You can sometimes lead to, this can sometimes lead to performance issues. However, shared hosting is a good option if you're on a budget and you don't expect a lot of traffic in your website. So if, you, if you're talking about, let's say a personal blog, a personal place where, a place where you can put your portfolio projects or something, or let's say for just branding, shared hosting is the way to go. Then we've got VPS hosting. So VPS hosting stands for virtual private server hosting. So we, with VPS hosting, we have a virtual server that is partitioned from other servers in the same physical machine. So this means that you have more resources that you would, than you would in shared hosting and you have more control over your server environment. So VPS hosting is a good option for websites that are growing and need some resources than share, that shared, than shared hosting can provide. So yeah, VPS hosting, be able to like partition one of your servers and make it like its own entity. So you don't have to, you don't struggle the traffic with other people, you know, accessing it. So yeah dedicated hosting is dedicated hosting is the most probably the most expensive type of hosting as it is a good option for large websites and businesses that need a lot of resources and control over their server environment so with dedicated hosting you have a physical server that is dedicated to your website this means that you have all the server resources to yourself and you have the ability to install and configure any software you need. So dedicated hosting, this is just set up for you alone. So you can make your own, you can set up like the server on your own way that you please, and you can install and configure any software that is needed. So that is another expensive, which is the most expensive one. It, it happens with like the, the big farms, like a big tech farm like uh, Google, has to have like its dedicated hosting so that it can be able to like uh, distribute and make sure the resources that are being accessed, they have a dedicated server there so that they don't collide with anyone else. They've got cloud hosting. Cloud hosting is a type of hosting that uses multiple servers to provide a more scalable and reliable hosting solution. With cloud hosting, your website files and the data are stored across multiple servers. So if one server fails, your website will still be able to function. Cloud hosting is a good option for websites that have a lot of traffic or that need to be able to scale up or down e e quickly. So cloud hosting, uh, I've used it, especially when it comes to de deploying uh, applications. This time I was in ALX just not too long ago. We were given uh, access to a server through an IP address. So does it, I believe they were using cloud hosting at the time. And we also implemented a bit of cloud hosting because on that point of if one server fails, the other website, the other server, the website will be rerouted to another server that functions. Also did that, especially when you're looking at the load balance, uh, when you're dealing with uh, like the load balance, because so that you can be, so that the same website is uh, hosted in a server somewhere. There are multiple like uh, snapshots of it. So if let's say server A goes down, the website will still be up, but you won't know because the load balancer directs everything to server B. So no, 
yeah i mean it's actually quite interesting so no matter what type of hosting you choose it's important to make sure that it's a reputable hosting provider that has good a good track record of providing reliable hosting services so yeah those are the things that somebody look at looks at you should also make sure to choose a hosting plan that meets your needs in terms of storage bandwidth and processing power so hosting is actually quite interesting because we've talked about shared hosting got dedicated hosting vps hosting which uh the different types of web hosting in there and web hosting it's where you store your it, it, it helps you to give you a space in the on the internet where you store your things especially on a server so yeah that's all you need to know about hosting i will uh, follow up with a video later just talk about like this in depth and also try to you know uh, bring some you know uh, practical examples on how to go about that but with this video it will just give you like somewhat of a guide on on how you are supposed to be thinking when you look at hosting and web hosting because web hosting yeah it, it's it's actually quite interesting to see that so if you guys like the video make sure to leave your feedback down in the comments on what you think and also please be sure to subscribe to the channel hit the bell so that you can get notified comment what you think in the comment section down below it helps me out a ton and um i'm out peace